<laughs> Hi guys and welcome back to another video. Today I have my new vlogging camera so I hope the quality has um, really stepped up a notch because I traded in my last camera and I got this one and I am already obsessed with it. So I thought I'll do a studio vlog for you using my new camera. I have a bunch of Etsy orders to pack this morning. I've also got to go to office work and print some stickers since I ran out of ink so I thought it'd just be easier to do it over there. I also have to make some new products for my shop this afternoon and also pack all my Patreon orders. Now, the new products I'm going to be making is a book lovers pack. So, I have these new pins. I just got them made. And I want to create... Is that going to go in focus? Focus, focus, focus. There we go. So, I've got these adorable pins. Um, and I'm going to be making little backing cards for them as well as bookmarks. I'm going to be adding in some stickers and postcards as well. So I'm going to start with, I think, about 20. See if they sell well and if they do, I'll continue making these little packs. I'm also going to like make up a little pack on camera today. Um, just so I know how everything, like how I want to pack everything. And I'm going to ship one off to my mom since she's definitely a book lover. <laughs> so, uh, other than that, I have a little bit of market research to do on my computer later and I can explain what I'm doing then. And then um, I have a Zoom call this afternoon with a roomie. So every Monday we have our Zoom call to talk about my stationary subscription. We mainly just chat about like our businesses, but we do have a lot of things we need to tick off each month to talk about. And I thought I'd bring you guys along. So I haven't told a roomie yet. So <laughs> if we even just get a simple wave from her, that was probably good enough. Because um, yeah, I don't know if she wants to be on camera. So. Let's begin the vlog. I've got some orders to pack.
Hi guys, voiceover Brittany here. So I just wanted to correct something from the last video I posted. So I posted a video where I did a collaboration with a company that I won't name until I get a response back from them. And I basically did a little DIY video where I got a whole bunch of stickers, I sticker bombed things and I made little way I, I basically showed you different ways that you can use your stickers because I have so many stickers in my um, stationary collection and sometimes I don't know what to do with them all so I wanted to think of some different ways that you could use stickers now I posted that video up and I did get some feedback that there are lots of different small business owners illustrations used from this company and I wanted to take the video down until I got confirmation from this company that they actually had the rights to use these illustrations because as you guys know I am a small business owner and I 100% support small business owners, local business owners and this whole community of people who are trying so hard to build a business that is sustainable for them. So knowing that this company may potentially have used Illustrator's works without getting permission, it was really concerning for me. And I know in the comments it said that people were disappointed that I had worked with this company and I completely understand where they were coming from. So I corrected this on my Instagram. I took the video down and I put it unlisted and I also corrected it on my YouTube feed because I do not want to be associating myself with a business with this business if they are doing the wrong thing. Working with a company that potentially might be doing the wrong thing goes against everything I believe in. So I did take these comments seriously on YouTube and I just wanted to correct that because I am definitely an advocate um, for small business owners and um, I've taken that video down and won't be publishing it if I do know that they have done the wrong thing. But I wanted to give them the benefit of the doubt since I wasn't sure. And they could actually have the commercial licenses or um, they could have got commercial agreements with these people. And um, yeah, I didn't want to just blast their name across the internet in case they were doing the right thing. So um, yeah, I just wanted to address that. Um, and today in this video, I am doing a shop update. So I don't know if I mentioned that at the start. I think I might have skipped past that, but I'm working towards a shop update um, and I will be launching a book lovers pack, which I'm really excited about. I also have pins for the first time. They're so cute. So I put one of these pins on my You've got mail bags, so the little tote bags that me and Arumi made for my stationery subscription. And I went to the post office and I got to, because um, I went to my sister's house afterwards. And when I got to my sister's house, I realized the pin wasn't on my bag anymore. And I was so upset because I put it on a spot where it brushed under my arm and I thought that it fell off on the ground. And... I was, yeah, I was really devastated because this was my first ever pin and I kept one for myself. So once I got home, I checked everywhere to make sure it just didn't fall off in this house. And luckily it was on the ground. So I think I brushed the pin off the back when I was getting, like packing everything. So I'm so happy that I've got my pin back. I absolutely love it. So if you guys want to go purchase one, I've got, I think um nine in stock at the moment and I know that I've sold a few so I don't know how many I'll have when this video uploads but go check out my new pins <laughs> they're really really cute especially if you're a book lover so a little tip for my Australian customers now if you're buying washi tapes or pins I have to send them as a package but I've got an option on my Etsy website that if I think if you spend over $30 shipping is free so I know that some people have spent like $28 or $25 worth of stock and they're still paying the shipping prices um, around Australia. And I always wonder to myself, do these people know that if they just spent like two more dollars, they wouldn't have to pay for shipping? So yeah, that's a little tip for my Australian customers. Make sure you're checking what the eligibility of getting free shipping is. Because you're, if you're only a couple of dollars under, then you're going to actually be saving money if you spend a little bit more because you're actually saving on shipping. And I would recommend that you check out those options for 
any Etsy shop or any shop you actually go to to figure out what the um, the minimum spend is to get free shipping. I haven't done a minimum spend for international customers yet because in order for me to actually make a profit on giving international customers free shipping, I think my minimum would have to be $100. And I'm not sure if many people would spend that. I guess I can put that option out there. Um, but yeah, just wondering what you guys think. I know shipping is expensive if you buy one thing. And it breaks my heart to think that I can't share these products with people internationally if they don't want to pay for shipping. Um, but yeah, if you do order bigger packages, then obviously it makes sense to, to pay for the shipping. So earlier today I was with my sister. Um, it was nice seeing her again because we've been in lockdown. So I got all my stickers, my bookmarks and my backing cards all cut and it looks so good. I'm so happy with it. I can't wait to make up all the book lover packs tomorrow, take photos and list them on Etsy. This afternoon I was supposed to make all my stickers but my partner was home half day today because it was, I think it was like a public holiday or something. I don't know, I should have asked him. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm just about to jump on the computer now and Zoom a roomie and we'll have our business meeting this afternoon. So because I didn't get my stickers done, I'll have to get them done tomorrow, which means I'm going to be a bit stressed this week because I've got an essay due at the end of the week. And I've been writing essays nonstop for about three weeks now and I'm so exhausted and I've nearly given up. On a lot of the essays so I'll get it done but it just means that I need to work harder at the end of the week if I spend the whole day tomorrow doing business stuff as well so yeah that's a little update and if Rumi wants to be on camera I'll get her to say hi quick side note my hair's up in a little ponytail because I just got home from the gym so I hope I don't look too terrible on camera <laughs> up over here so I've got a roomie down here on my phone and then the computer and she's in an Audi <laughs> so um so I said about how many hours ago um you're just waving still <laughs> So at seven o'clock, I <laughs> so you can see you in the camera. At seven o'clock, <laughs> at seven o'clock, I said I would pick up the camera and introduce. But because a Rumi and I talk for so long and we talk oh, about yeah. like everything, <laughs> I got so distracted I completely forgot I was vlogging today. Um, so lucky I remembered because it is nine forty-five p.m. at night and we're still like. Not we haven't covered everything off yet. <laughs> no, time to go to sleep while we <laughs> Wait. I want to see. I want to see. Can you see it? Uh, I can oh. see you, but I can't see me. Can you see it now? <laughs> oh yeah, I can see myself. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh my God. So I was just going to explain what have we covered tonight. So we covered all of our marketing. We covered market research. We covered like just general Etsy things. <laughs> and I covered my face. <laughs> You've covered your face so many times. I'll put you back here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, anyway, so I will wrap up the vlog for tonight and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye. Say goodbye to the vlog tonight. Goodbye. <laughs> Get a subscription box. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll wrap it up there. Bye. So one last thing I just wanted to mention over on my Patreon, I usually run monthly Zoom meetings where we just craft and chat um, and it's been really nice and I've got to know some really incredible people. So I really thank all the people on my Patreon who come and join my monthly Zoom calls. But last Zoom call, we actually discussed like business tips and tricks. So I had a really nice chat and I hope the people who came to that Zoom call did get a lot out of it. I basically just spoke for like, 
how long were we on the call? We were definitely on for way more than an hour, I think. <laughs> so I think I just blurted out for an hour just all my tips and tricks for marketing um, when running a small business. So yeah, you guys seem to have got a lot from that who joined me. So then I posted this month on our monthly newsletter that I was going to do another business Zoom chat. So if anyone wanted me to like analyze their business or if they came with specific questions, I'll run through all that on camera with them and anyone else who wanted to join and listen, they could. So I kind of opened that up to everyone who's part of my Patreon. So anyone who wanted to join, I would do like an hour kind of session of just like business tips and I'll try to make it as specific as possible and answer as many questions as I can. So if anyone who isn't part of our little Patreon club wants to do that, this is open for anyone. So any tier um, over on Patreon. So my tiers start at $2 and run all the way up to, I think, 22 or $25 mark um, but obviously you get lots of different benefits if you go up to the to the max tier so um, yeah products I send out all my um, stationary products monthly I also do monthly zoom um, sorry not monthly zoom monthly swaps and challenges so I match people up with pen pals I give themes and yeah I'll send out addresses and match everyone up each month what else do we do? Um, I create a video on Patreon once a month, so exclusive to Patreon, and you, um, the peeps that sign up to Patreon vote on those videos. So we do a bunch over there. And oh, and I also have a postcard postcard club. <laughs> Sorry, that was a bit of a tongue twister. So I think that's one of the lower tiers. Well, actually, I don't think. So that's one of the lower tiers. I realize that I'm really not good at speaking tonight um so yeah postcard club postcard club the snail mail club there's monthly sorts and challenges but yeah if you join um even at the two dollar level you can join our zoom calls and yeah I'll be giving a bunch of marketing and business tips to anyone who wants to pick my brain and get some ideas so yeah if you wanted to join patreon and you wanted to join our Zoom calls, then the information is on my um, Patreon at the moment. So yes, enjoy the rest of the video and I'll talk to you guys soon. all of my new shop products so once I finish that I'm then going to take all the photos and post my new shop update on Instagram so that's what I'll be doing for the rest of the day I still have another one of these to um, take off the mat so I just need to take all the stickers off 
I've got some orders to then take to the post office this afternoon. And then I've got a bunch of stickers to pack. So this one here is my new collection. And then obviously I still need to put all the little pins on the boards. And then I still have a bunch of book lover kits to make. So that's what I'll be doing for the rest of the afternoon. Thanks for watching my studio vlog and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.